Hi, in this video I'm going to be going over how I installed navigation lights on my Bonafide SS-127 kayak. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is a rear view of the kayak. Now as you can see it has four of these inset bolts that are used for various accessories and I'm going to make a template using that pattern so I can attach my stern mount. And the only issue is going to be that these are at a slight angle so I'm either going to have to match that angle or drill bigger holes for my attachment screws and then cover them up using larger fender washers and then what also is going to work is that my mount will sit flush on this surface giving me this gap inside here where I can run my electrical through and my quick connects Okay, so I cut out my plate from my template and I've got the four bolts lined up so it's on there tight. And then what I also did was I removed the base of the stern light and marked my four holes for that and drilled them out. And then I also drilled this hole that's going to take the wiring from the light underneath this mount and attach it to the quick connect. This is an overall view of the stern light as it's attached to the mounting plate and the wiring is completed. So the next views I will give you will be a close up of the mount itself along with what it looks like in the underside and the electrical connections. This is a close up view of the mounted base plate. As you can see I have the four screws with the washers that I used to attach the plate with the molded in nuts on the kayak and then I just used four screws that went directly into the poly cutting board to attach the base of the light to this mount and then I drilled a hole here to run the wiring to the underside of the plate and then I actually used a little bit of shrink tubing on there just to make it look nicer This is a view of the underside of the stern light plate. And as you can see, there's four screws sticking through that mount the base of the light to the top of this plate and the wiring coming through the top and going down and connecting via the IP65 waterproof connector from the wiring coming from inside the hole. And the hole that I drilled in the hole I will put a little bit of marine goop in there just to make sure that it's sealed up and no water gets in there. Since I had already removed the bow strap in order to install the bonafide trolling motor mount, I decided I was going to use one of the existing holes to run navigation lights through the hull. So what I did was I just put one of the screws back in there to fill up the hole and then for the hole I was going to use to run the wiring, I just took a drill and drilled it out in order to put the wiring down through there. This is how I installed the navigation lights. This is a view of the port or left side and instead of mounting the nav light to the hull of the kayak itself, I went ahead and mounted it to the side of the bonafide trolling motor mount. It worked out really nice. It makes it a little bit higher off the water and it's not as obvious with the blue colored kayak. And then as I explained before, I have the one screw in here that's capping off or plugging off the one hole. And then I drilled this other hole straight through to run the wiring for the nav light on either side and then connected both of them together both positive and negative wires and ran those to a switch at the mid section of the kayak. I wired both the front and rear lights into this single switch that is located just behind the pedal track on the right hand side of the kayak. Now I have to admit it was pretty complicated and took me a while to figure it out so that's why I'm not going to show the detailed wiring for it. But what I will show is how this lights up at night. 
Now I'm going to demonstrate the navigation lights for the kayak. Those are going to work very well for low light conditions. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.